If you're struggling to make your prospecting sessions really valuable and you're having challenges getting into that mindset where you're just out there to take business, you're feeling energetic, you're enthusiastic, and most importantly, you're getting results, this video will help give you some insight of how we get ourselves on track, get into the right mindset so we're not just going through the dials and that we're actually going out there and taking market share. This one will definitely get the juices flowing a little bit. Um, Going back to one of the challenges that people miss out on when it comes to cancel and expired, you know, and I, I talk about turning every cold call into a warm call, but at the end of the day, you have to go in there with some tenacity and some grit, right? Like you have to go in there with some goals of I'm going good name, Johnny cash 12. You have to go in there with a little chip on your shoulder of like, I'm going to find business today. I'm looking for business. I'm not just making calls. I'm looking for people that I can help. And you can hear this, this angst or this energy within me where it's like, I am here for a purpose. Right. And, and oftentimes that alone right there, I'm going to mute you, Johnny. You got some horns going on and stuff. Welcome to the, uh, welcome to the meeting. Um, that's the challenging part that wears people out. That's why you hear people say things like it's a, it's a young man's game or, you know, oh, cold calling and a lot of top producers. That's why they get out of it and they hire for it because it's a very energy consuming process and it's a million percent worth it. It is your fastest way. The phone is your fastest way to go from less income to more income in real estate. No driving time. You can get as you can do hundreds of dials and have hundreds of opportunities versus 20 or 30. You can control the efforts, right? But when we're getting ready, and especially on Monday, especially on, on the first of the month when these listings are, are hitting it in a big, uh, a big quantity, like you have to have that I am here for business, right? And we talk, we've talked about that before where sometimes we can get in the lull of it, right? The lull of it, like, well, I got to make my calls. I got to make my calls. No, you got to go find business. That's what you're doing, right? So when you're, when you're getting into that realm, do a temperature check real quick. That's the, that was always my hard part. I was very, very, very self-aware of where my energy was. I knew when I was in full on Pono mode and I knew when I was like, eh, I don't want to do it mode. And the gap for me was time consuming and energy consuming and just, it was a strain on me. And what I found was, as I had to create some rituals and routines and some habits that got me into the place that I needed to be. So when you, when you, I, I bring this all up because I can tell just based on the conversation with the goals and I can tell just based on the conversation with how it went is that um, the energy of dealing with these people uh, and just taking what they have to say, like, I, I'll take it, put it here and still move forward. Hey, that's phenomenal. I don't have a buyer. That's exactly why I'm calling. What's your time plan? So when I have a buyer, I can call you. I'm not going to call you if, if I have a buyer and you don't want to sell because you're not selling for six 